everyone. My name is Danny Almodora. I'm the CEO of Engineers at Borders. For me, this is my fourth conference, I think. We have, uh, uh, who, uh, just as a point of interest, who's been to an Italy conference before? Oh, wow. So, <laughs> it's funny, every year we come back and we just see more and more and more people. Um, we used to sort of cordon off more areas and now it's just cordoning off the two little back areas and uh, maybe next year we'll, we'll fill the whole space. But um, it's amazing to be here. I wanted to, um, I guess, first acknowledge the, um, the traditional owners, and uh, the guys are already left, but again, say thank you. Um, EMB works in, uh, in, with a number of Indigenous communities in Australia and we're quite passionate about the process of reconciliation and the Rupert Reconciliation Action Plan, which we're trying to promote in the engineering industry, and it's something we take very seriously. So, um, <coughs> so in the next few days, we'll hear a lot more about our work, uh, both in Australia as well. I think sometimes people think of engineers at borders as something that only works overseas, but we definitely work a lot in Australia. Um, and not even, not, not even just in the indigenous communities, but also uh, a lot of local communities in the cities as well. Um, so that makes me a bit nostalgic. I had a little two-year-old, but I had to leave this morning when I got all the kisses. So I'm feeling bad. <laughs> Maybe I'll bring them in tomorrow. Baby problems. Welcome to Melbourne. For those of you who have come from interstate, um, even come from far out of uh, the Victoria, we've got quite a few international guests as well. Um, quite a few from our region, from Indonesia, from Cambodia. Um, uh, probably other countries that I'm not thinking about right now, but welcome as well. Um, we have an amazing three days. I've spent the last 12 months really just, just you know, working with, particularly with Natalie, who's just amazing, I don't know where she's hiding at the top there. Um, we're working on this conference, you know, Natalie really took all, all the organisation part, which is great because I'm very, very bad at that stuff. And, um, and I was trying to work on, on coming up with the design of, of the speakers to come in and. And every time I, I got to another speaker, and you know, I got to Eric Campbell, it was to you an interesting story about how we connected up. You know, it was like this big coup, you know, with this amazing speaker, and then, you know, Peter Cosgrove, and, and then Don Henry, and it just started building up, and I sort of thought, all right, we're filling the program, we're not going to have any room in it. So it's an amazing three days, I'm really excited that you guys can be here and, um, and listen to some of the things that we're going to talk about. Um, one of the briefs I gave the speakers when it began, was to inspire and to challenge. And really that's the point of the Engineers That Borders Conference. And keeping your mouth moist. Um, <laughs> which you should all do in the <coughs> um, We'll talk a lot about water and sanitation and clean water as well. So think about that. Um, but yeah, the idea was inspire and challenge. This isn't, this isn't an academic conference. It wasn't about delivering papers. It was really about telling people about what's actually happening in the world. It's, it's really opening your eyes to the stuff that's around us today and, um, and the way we can make a difference in the future. Uh, we designed the conference in three ways. Actually, I started reading a book the other day. I forgot to bring it in. I was going to read you the first line. It's a history of the future. It's, um, it's a futurist talking about you know, where we're going. And he starts the book, the first few chapters, uh, in order to know where we're going, we need to know where we've come from. So it starts with a brief history of the past, and then the present, and then talks about the future. And I thought, how nice is that? That follows the exact theme of the conference. And, and in a sense, I think that's really important. You know, in order to, to work out uh, you know, this space of international development, sustainable development, we really need to understand what's come before us. You know, what's, what does the world look like? What has been tried? What have people explored in the past? You know, how did we get here? We move on tomorrow to look more at the present. You know, what are the types of things that are happening now? What are the, what are the interesting new innovations and, and development interventions that have been tried? Um, we've got a great morning session talking about social enterprise, which is something that's been around for a while, but we've started making problems recently. So we'll talk about ideas like that. What do they mean for the development sector? And then on Saturday, we'll start talking about the future. Of course, in the morning, if you look through the schedule, climate change is a really big part of that day. Trying not to get his feet back. But uh, climate change is a really big part of that day. And I think that, you know, I guess for all of us in the room, you know, this is the converted. <laughs> this is the community of like minded people who, who share similar values. 
So, you know, we're all sitting here knowing that that's going to be a real issue for us all to face. Um, and particularly for our region, you know, uh, a lot of countries that are going to be devastated by the effects of climate change if we, if we can't turn it around very soon. Places like Vietnam, Bangladesh, and the Maldives, which might not even be around. So we'll talk about that stuff as well and we'll try and set the context for what happens in the future and then hopefully end with a bit of a positive about our vision, you know. What, what do we want to see? What do we want it to look like? And then we can start actually setting a plan. How do we get there? You know, if you can sort of see where you want to go, uh, we might not know the exact path, but as long as we've got a beacon and a marker, we can start walking there and get there together. A couple of things that are going on during the conference. You'll see this morning, um, a few people were setting up a little Lego pit. Think of it as a sand pit, but without making the mess of sand, we use Lego. Um, it's just up the stairs, if you turn left as you walk up the stairs, you're free to play there. That's for all the people, uh, probably a little bit like me, who can't sit still for very long. Um, you know, every lecture I've ever been in, I think I've had a nap. Um, so hopefully that won't happen here because we've got such amazing speakers and that doesn't say that much for the university lecturers that I was with. But that was right over in great. And um, the idea is that there's this Lego pit. If you're bored, if you want to try something new, if you want to build a sand castle out of Lego or a Lego castle, um, go up there and just have a play. It's, um, the pieces are actually part of a, a, a project that we did we had this Lego wind turbine, it was a 3 meter wind turbine with a rotating blade and a motor inside. So we've got all the pieces to create one of those, but feel free to not create a wind turbine and to create anything you want. And uh, we'll take some photos of that and see what some creations that we come up with. Another thing we've got is a chill out room. Just where you had your um, breakfast, where, where the food was, you'll see that there's, there's a room in there with some rugs, a few pillows, on the tables, there's a deck of cards, some crayons. That's basically, again, if you just want to get out, if you meet somebody who's just amazing, whether you think they're cute and want to have a little bit of a quiet chat, or they're really interested and want to just explore, you know, what they're about and, and their ideas, you know. Like, that's amazing, and stuff on gender and disability and, and development. Let's go sit in the chill room and really get down. Um, so that's a space you can go to at any time and just relax and, uh, and get to know other people at the conference. And we have, a, we have an art wall, which is going to be going on. We've got tandem projects. Um, I don't know where they are. There. There's my Lynn and uh, Rebecca. Rachel, Rachel sorry. Um, <laughs> I, I've never met Rachel, but that's hi. I'm Dan. Chill out, everyone. So, so we've got an art wall, and what's amazing here is while speakers are going to be speaking, we've got Rachel and, and Maylin who are going to be creating a work of art, trying to express what the speakers are talking about. Um, we'll see what comes out of it. Uh, maybe we'll put it on eBay and it'll be a huge fundraiser, make you know, $50,000 a piece for EDB. Um, maybe it'll just be a memento that we put up at the office. Um, really exciting to, to have something quite unique. Again, What's interesting is always <coughs> for um, ideas outside of the box. So if you ever have any ideas like that, that was an amazing suggestion that, that Maylene brought to me. Uh, we'd love to hear that and we'll incorporate that as well. We had some pre-conference days. People were over the last few, uh, or yesterday. Um, again, I just want to see how many people went on the pre-conference days. So for those of you, I'm sure you've probably all read about it when you were registering, but the pre-conference days we had were basically excursions around Melbourne to various different sites. We had one in the permaculture tour which went to David Holman, who was one of the founders of the concept of permaculture, and he gave us a personal tour of his farm. We had a miniature tour that went to um, La Trobe Valley and had a look at a coal power station and then a wind power station, so an interesting contrast. And a few others. So, um, yeah, that was interesting. For those who put up their hand and for those who didn't, go and speak to them. Uh, and learn a bit about that. Often our chapters uh, during the year run similar type of activities there, whether it's a sustainability in the city where we go and see sustainable buildings or, or tours to, to really interesting places. So we just try to uh, incorporate that into the conference as well. Um, just got some notes here. Really important, get to know each other. As I said before, Engineers Our Borders is all about the community. It's a community of like-minded people. When we started this organisation, and we'll have um, Matt and I will give a brief 
Ms. Julie have been in one of the parallel sessions for those who haven't heard the story, welcome to come and hear how, um, you know, how organic the beginning was. But when we started, what we knew, we didn't really know what we were going to do, but what we did know is we knew that there were going to be a whole lot of people who were passionate and interested in this space. And there was no place for us to actually get together and hang out. And that was the essence of engineers, of course, from the outset. And once we felt we could get the community, then we could engage our community, which is us, this tribe, and get them working. Uh, so um, very much so, this is a family's community. Get to know each other. You'll probably find that um, uh, as you stay involved in engineers, that borders the same people continue to come up and, uh, and start affecting change. So this is where those relationships begin. The last one, I noticed it's raining. Um, I was really surprised. Melbourne, um, but it is raining. So thinking about tonight, I sort of got in the car this morning, noticed that clearly. And um, and I went and I sort of again, we've got lawn bowls tonight, but I've never been to an indoor lawn bowls before. Um, so I figured this one is in indoors as well. I got here and um, spoke to that. Lawn bowls is still on tonight for those who are planning on coming. Um, depending on if it's raining, if it's raining, the brave can be outside and play. If it's not. Um, everyone can. Either way, there's a big indoor space and we'll still have a barbecue and, and a bit of fun and, and a bit of a casual hangout tonight at the Lawn Bowls. So you don't have to run away just because it's raining. Have fun. Enjoy the conference. I have such good speakers that I'll stop because I'm not one of them. And I'll introduce you to Eric Campbell.